All right, this week we have some news to discuss regarding future hardware from Meta as we approach Meta Connect 2024. The first bit of news is reports once again from Bloomberg reiterating that Meta plans to unveil the largest unkept secret in the XR space of a more affordable Quest, monikered Meta Quest 3S, and showcase Meta's true AR glasses called Orion at Meta Connect that takes place this September on the 25th and the 26th. The cheaper, more affordable Quest 3S is aiming for a price tag of 300 to 400 dollars with the same performance of quest 3 but with for now lenses but let's be honest if it's anything above 350 dollars this would be dead on arrival not for the product offering as meta has shown to continually improve their products through software updates even after launch to position itself as an alternative to the more expensive quest 3 at 500 dollars going anything above 350 dollars or even 350 dollars could be a misstep as even the 128 gigabyte version of quest 3 on amazon prime day did go on sale for 430 dollars so why not save up for the extra cash the second bit of news reported by the information and they are notorious especially with meta often than not hitting the nail on the head and that being a successor to meta quest pro like a meta quest pro 2 reportedly being scrapped in previous news the high-end headset was codenamed la Oya and i said Lajala, and set to target a release date in 2027 in response to apple vision pro the article is paywall but multiple sources report that the decision was reportedly made during a meeting with mark sweet baby ray zuckerberg andrew shut down echo vr bosworth and other meta executives being in attendance and then on thread cto's chief technology officer andrew bosworth what do you call it threaded a response basically reaffirming the news and reiterating this happens all the time with development cycles so yes it's true but there is also more information to unpack as well as recent trademark patents from meta painting a picture of what a future pro device would or could look like as things are always evolving within the space but before getting into both topics let's start with the first roundabout of what we should expect this coming month with meta connect 2024 closely approaching from mark german of bloomberg meta platforms inc the iphone's maker biggest rifle in wearable devices will be holding its connect conference on september 25 and the 26th though much of the presentation will focus on artificial intelligence features as side note this month alone reports came out of meta once again dishing out millions to celebrities to use their voice for the ai assistant voice offerings to showcase at connect 2024 and meta ai arriving on quest with firmware update v69 it'll also include new mixed reality headsets and smart glasses and the biggest debut of connect will show a preview of meta's future augmented reality glasses in this meta will show a prototype called orion that it hopes will be the basis for an eventual ar glasses product and it should show their vision for the future of computing by creating true ar glasses something lightweight that consumers can wear all day as apple has struggled with its own efforts and now all signs point to meta being ahead more importantly to me at least this will give reasoning to why meta invests billions upon billions of dollars into their meta reality labs division as half of the budget alone is put into ar it's important to keep in mind that this product is is entirely separate from next year's consumer release aiming to include a visual like hud for messages and notifications alike in its smart glasses lineup similar to ray-bans not quite like orion aiming for true ar glasses with the built-in display on the glasses but incrementally closer as recent development with the ray-ban meta smart glasses they've been incredibly popular and even selling out and even going to meta's website it's the first thing you see over quest 3 though ray-ban owned by eslor losotica didn't like the bulkiness for the upcoming glasses as the form factor remains the biggest barrier for ar glasses meta is considering investing into its parent company at close to a five billion dollar valuation with meta plans to show off a new ai driven software features for those glasses as well as updated styles and colors furthermore meta also will unveil a new version of its mixed reality headset possibly with the name quest 3s multiple monikers have been discussed internally this will be a new entry-level device meant to bring more people into the ecosystem meta has discussed pricing the budget-minded version at 300 dollars or 400 dollars the company has considered getting the cost down by selling the controllers separately but at least some models of the new hardware will include them in the box and i also remember a meta executive refuting this as hand tracking still has ways to go but a controllerless headset could eventually come in the near future but let's talk about the most important factor 
of the device even existing, which is in the pricing. As the largest appeal is targeting consumers shopping at the $300 to $400 price range, giving you the same performance as Quest 3 and gaming exclusives, but with worse displays. Getting Fresnel lenses and not packing lenses is sacrificing image clarity for cost. If this ships above $350, which is the asking price for a Switch OLED, it's Quest Pro all over again. In not knowing your market demographic, I doubt Meta repeats the same decision, but say if it targets a price range of $300, I easily see this headset outselling Quest 3. The value that Meta brings with constant software updates, improving the base feature set, gaming exclusives like Batman Arkham Shadow, and being able to watch your favorite content on a personal big screen or browse the web is great. This would perfectly align itself as a perfect holiday gift or a reason for Quest 2 users to upgrade. I see this a lot with Quest 3 users online bash upon the fact that yes, it's an inferior headset, but as someone that still uses Quest 2 for its better tracking over Quest 3, Fresnel lenses are fine. Yes, packing lenses are the future as it's the biggest upgrade this generation in my opinion with Quest 3 and Quest 4 is slated in 2026 and rumored to implement it in the budget version as well, but for the time being it works. And there are also reports of bringing a cheaper headset like Quest 3S to markets like India and even China with Tencent. Closing out 2024, the XR space should get even more interesting. And moving on to the second bit of news, this comes from the long continued following and saga on this channel being that a more premium higher end headset from Meta has been cancelled. Sylvia and Wayne Wow from the information site that Meta Platforms has cancelled plans for a premium mixed reality headset intended to compete with Apple Vision Pro, according to two Meta employees. And Meta told employees at the company's Reality Labs division to stop work on the device this week after a product review meeting attended by Mark Zuckerberg, Andrew Bosworth, and other Meta executives. This comes in recent news as well with recent reporting detailing Meta cutting back spending on Reality Labs division by 20% and focusing more on delivering true AR glasses as the ceiling is far higher for mainstream appeal than XR headsets. Additionally, Laoya, which is the codename for the high-end headset, was reportedly set to use high-resolution micro OLED displays like on Apple Vision Pro. But Meta apparently wanted to keep the headset's price below $1,000, and the company decided that wouldn't be possible with micro OLED by 2027. As if you were to compare the displays on Vision Pro, since it uses two panels for each eye, it's estimated to cost $228 per piece, so quite costly. Since the article is paywall, while it isn't clear to me if the $1,000 targeted price point was just the bill of materials or the consumer price point as compared to Quest 3's bill of materials alone, it hardly recoups any revenue as considering it's not taking into account the advertising, world and development, upkeep, and funded first party video game titles. Quest 3 is a steal. However, my immediate reaction to Quest Pro 2 being cancelled is kind of mixed because for the longest, I've been yapping about this in my videos and I would have loved to see what meta is a able to achieve when price isn't an issue as their prototypes deemed they are prototypes for a reason show what could come to market eventually there were also rumors expecting the device around the a thousand to two thousand dollar price range as early in the year a high-end device was set to launch in a partnership with lg officially formed earlier this year in 2025 but then lg themselves pulled away from the deal in response to vision pro struggle with mainstream appeal apple vision pro is a great piece of tech and you see this regurgitated everywhere but show that at basically four thousand dollars we are currently stuck on the slim but still bulky and heavy form factor and alternatives being that google isn't interested in creating a xr device only supporting and creating software samsung is taking its time and meta's low to mid entry headset with quest has given them the rights to basically own the entire market segment we need competition and i don't think pico is the answer as china where meta is banned they couldn't even dominate their own market and the largest xr market is in the us most users i know and encounter in games almost always use it exclusively to play pc vr titles it goes to say pick your poison bite dance or meta but maybe the illusion of an alternative helps at least back on topic it's also worth mentioning that after the lg partnership meta kind of threw lg under the bus and came out with meta horizon os as meta tries to position itself as the android within the vr space as they're beginning to 
to lease their operating system to other hardware vendors like Asus and Lenovo. So instead of Meta doing all the heavy lifting themselves, Asus could focus on doing the work for say a primarily gaming headset with the highest possible performance and cooling or a super light productivity headset from Lenovo. With LG exiting the space for the time being, the wording was often from what I saw at least a LG branded headset with webOS like on their TVs and Meta would have had access to some of these features. As early on, rumors when LG was disbanding its XR division, they were said to partner up instead with Amazon based on their content services like Amazon Prime. As the CEO of LG is hell-bent on subscription models, year by year growing the company, not hardware. Meta also has some patents regarding of what a pro device could be, and in the images it shows creating a more desktop laptop experience with the home UI in your virtual space, along with making the headset more suitable for working in environments with way more widgets across the taskbar and a greatly improved browser than what we currently have on Quest. And it sucks that we'll have to wait a bit longer for a pro device directly from Meta, as recent firmware updates have been great pushing Quest 3 and even Quest 2 into more of a personal computer than just a gaming console. Maybe the return on investment isn't worth it as Quest 3, even at $500, packs a punch and holds its weight with devices 600 times the price. And a premium high-end headset could take that to the next level. The base features I wanted in a pro device from Meta would be eye tracking along with the other usual upgrades like internal memory, RAM, pass-through cameras, etc. The largest handicap for Quest 3 is that it doesn't support eye tracking natively, but some companies are rumored to create an add-on, though it's not the same whether for marginal performance gains with eye track foveated rendering, new input methods, mechanics in games, or with hand tracking as I think it's the next step in evolution for quest the most i'll pay for it is around two thousand dollars but the value needs to be there and right now the pro headset scene although really niche compared to quest and entirely different from apple as people that buy apple products buy it because it's an apple product is up for grabs at least in the android scene and it should be interesting if valve or anyone else gets in because i think this is the perfect time to at least take up a large percentage of the market share but like always that's all the topics that i wanted to go over down in the comment section let me know what you think because i really do read the comments suggest stuff for me to cover or review and leave a like or dislike down below and until the next video see ya